guys, if you're planning to take the May 2025 Digital SAT exam, make sure to stick around because we're going to cover this type of problem that you could see on the new exam as a potential prediction. But before we get started, please note the disclaimer listed above. If you want to take a moment to pause the video to read the following question before we tackle it together, make sure to do so now. Now that you're done unpausing the video, let's tackle this problem together. Before we get started, I want to make a prediction here. For the new digital SAT, you're going to see problems that require you to solve simple math where Desmos, while you can use it to solve a problem, it might be quicker to go ahead and try to simplify the problem without using a Desmos calculator. Basically, taking time to open up a calculator, type the number in, in some of these problems might be actually harder or or take longer than solving the problem with simple math. Let me explain. So in this problem, it says the function f of x equals 10 minus fx, and it represents the total cost in dollars of attending an arcade when x games are played. They want to know how many games can be played for the total cost of 60. As you can see here, this is an open-ended question. So this would be a problem type of question that you would see in either section or module 3 and 4, where it'd be towards the tail end, which means you're pressed for time. And they like to do that so that way you might waste time going to that Desmos calculator, but you know you don't have to. We know that the total cost is 60, which means that we want to represent that as f of x. We also know that we're trying to figure out the total games, and we know games is the variable x based on the question provided. So if we plug in 60 for f of x, we can essentially solve for the variable x. So basically we could say 60 equals 10 plus 5x. And with some quick math, you could put 10 to the other side and know 6 minus 1 is 5 or 50 equals 5x. And you're dividing both sides by 5x here, both sides by 5 because it's simple math. You know that 5 divided by 5 is 1. And then you're just bringing down the 0. So 10 equals x. Boom you solved your problem. So this is an example where using Desmos 60 equals 10 plus 5x and trying to type in and bring it over and calculate manually might take a little bit more time than actually taking the moment to utilize simple math. I hope this problem helps explain how using Desmos might not always be efficient even for a simple type of math problems. Make sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button, and also also, make sure to hit that like video. If you want to check out other SAT videos that we have, such as our course videos related to the new digital SAT math, make sure to check out our playlist as it will show a ton of different problems and a ton of different predictions that we've seen in the past. Thank you, and we hope to see you back soon. Hey, geeking out on STEM family. Guess what? We want you to hit that subscribe button. Why? Because we'll be producing more content just like this for the AP Biology exam and the new digital SAT exam. By subscribing, you'll be getting exclusive up-to-date tips, tricks, and secrets for both exams. Also, if you're a parent, a teacher, a homeschool instructor, or a student, you might be looking for affordable and exclusive digital products to help improve multiple choice questions, free response questions, or question bank questions related to both the digital SAT or AP biology exam. We have them here. Make sure to check out our link tree in our bio for curated resources that you won't find anywhere else. These unique resources are designed to help you raise your score. By hitting the subscribe button, the more subscribers we get, by the way, the more videos we can make. So make sure to join our family to ensure that you get a perfect score for both exams.